Hello and welcome to the Zelda Game & Watch video, finally! I cannot believe it took me this long to actually get to this crud, but I bought this thing last year, I was planning to do it right after Zelda 1 and 2, but my batteries were dead, and uh, well, I had to buy some new ones, and for some reason I never got around to it afterwards. Now you would think because we took so long to get to, uh, to this that it would be some kind of amazing game, but this is actually a very, very simplistic game. I was planning to also do this over here, and don't be alarmed by the color, but uh, we got a Zelda Game Watch. So this is a Zelda Game & Watch, as you can see by the logo right here. We'll take a closer look at everything. But this right here is a Zelda Game Watch, and this came out around a similar time, I believe. I think it came out back in the 80s as well, and yes, this one is pink. Uh, I bought the pink one because it was the cheapest one I could find. Uh, but this also comes in black, red, and white. But this one, unfortunately, when I bought it, the batteries were working. Now they're not. And, well, the Zelda Game & Watch, you just pop the little thing off right here and put new batteries in. This one requires a tiny, tiny screwdriver, which you can kind of see right there. You need a tiny, tiny little screwdriver to get inside there. And I don't even know what kind of batteries this would take if it was working. So I'll talk a little bit about what this game was actually, or what the game actually was, and I've also got the box and stuff over here, so I'll show that off as well, but I won't be able to play this one. But we will get to play some Zelda Game & Watch. I mean, come on, I know, I know Breath of the Wild comes out today or tomorrow, depending on where you live and all that, but why, why watch that? when you can watch Zelda Game & Watch, right? By the way, tomorrow on the channel I'll have a video unboxing the Switch, but more importantly I'll be talking about my plans for the Switch on the channel and all that, including Breath of the Wild, so I will definitely do that tomorrow. But, well, it's assuming my Nintendo Switch gets here tomorrow, which I think it will. But what do you say we go ahead and pop this guy open and take a look at what's inside? So this one actually does have uh, two screens. The top screen up here is basically going to be... I know it's kind of glary and dark. I'll, I'll adjust my video settings before we start playing here. But the top screen is basically going to have uh, your map, your Triforce, and some items that you can collect. And down here is where the main game kind of takes place. So it'll take place on that screen. We've got a D-pad over here. This is just like some sticker action. Uh, over here we've got an attack button. And then, of course, we've got time. This is Zelda Game and Watch. I think a more appropriate name would be Zelda Game and Clock, but yes, there is a clock. You can see it's like 12:11 on this clock. But uh, yeah, there's also a continue button, a game button. I guess there's an alarm and ACL, whatever that is. But all right, let me adjust my camera. Basically, the screen is extremely dark, so I need to like overexpose the heck out of my camera, and then we'll get going. Okay, so for the most part, the action is going to take place on the bottom screen. But there's one thing to keep in mind. For some reason, if you look at the screen directly on, it's actually very hard to see. So I'm going to be tilting the screen just a little bit so you can see it. It's a little bit more clear there. Let me. I'll try to keep that glare off of there as well. If I can, I don't know. That's probably about as clear as we're gonna get right there. I'll try not to move it too much. But one thing I should mention is that this game is also available on the Game Boy Advance on the Game & Watch Gallery 4. And you can also get that on the Wii U Virtual Console. So I was thinking of getting that so I could show you guys some direct feed instead of like this off-screen gameplay like this. But one problem, you have to get a lot of stars to unlock it. And it takes hours of really boring grinding. So we're just gonna play off the actual thing right here. So let's go ahead and hit the game button. And we'll get a little jingle. There are some sounds. It's not much, though. Well, I guess we're not going to get any sounds here. There, there you go. You might hear some little bleeps and bloops. That's about all we got. So what we basically have here, we have Link, and we can use left and right on the D-pad to go back and forth. We got a Stalfos or whatever that guy is down there with his knife. I kind of ran right into it. And on the right, we've got a Moblin. And basically, we have to attack the Moblin to get his energy down to zero to beat the level. So we got to watch out for the knife coming up from the uh, style post down there, while also wrecking the heck out of this Moblin. Now, the Moblin will also throw some arrows at you. And take a look at Link. If we sit right here, you can see he's blocking in front. But if we hold down the attack button, he actually blocks behind him. That'll be relevant a little bit later. But for now, we'll just block the arrow right in front of us. And let's go back in, try to get a few swings in there. And we just got to keep dodging the guy. So we do about three damage per swing. So as long as we get a lot of hit, a lot of hits out there, we'll be pretty fine. And almost got him. And there you go. So we beat the first level. We cut the head off of that guy, and he falls down or something. I don't know what happened right there. But for doing that, we'll get some points. And then what will happen is we have two staircases to choose from. So we could choose the left one or the right one. Of course, I'm going to go left. So we just walk over it to it, press up on the D-pad, and there you go. We move on to the next stage here. So I can show you guys real quick on the map. It actually does update a little bit. We don't have any items quite yet, but now we have to watch out. You might have noticed, well, I wasn't showing it too well, but there's actually going to be a guy behind us now, that ghost dude, and he will shoot arrows behind us. So we have to hold down the attack button to block behind us to actually get rid of those cruds. So you got to watch out for that crud. There's a lot of obstacles to watch out for for this one. Let's just go ahead and try to get this guy down a little bit here. Wreck him, dude! Get him, Link! Oh, 
We didn't need to go back that soon. There we go. Yeah, the the skeleton's knife only hurts you when it gets to the very top, so for the most part, you can just sit there and wait for a while before you have to worry about that too much. Oh, come on. Oh, let's block behind us here. There we go. We had the block in front. There was another arrow coming there. I know the game kind of shakes while I mash on this button, but... Well, you, you gotta mash, dude. You gotta get those attacks out there. All right. There we are. You might notice as well we have two hearts down at the bottom. Uh, the hearts, well, if you lose them, you die. That's pretty much all there is to it. You have three normally. I believe you get one restored if you beat the level. I can't remember exactly, but there's there's some way to get more hearts. Let's see. We almost got him. Watch out for skeleton guy. Oh, crud. I was blocking high. I should have been blocking low. What is wrong with me, dude? Okay, let's go kill him here. One. No, get back here. Come on. Okay, we got to watch out for that guy. And we got an arrow coming behind us. Oh, boy. Please tell me there's no arrow in front. Got that crud. Go get him. Go get him. One more swing. And okay, so we beat that level. Once you defeat the main enemy, then all the other and uh, blech, all the other enemies will vanish. So you don't have to worry about that too much. So there you go. We get some more points, and this time we can only go left. So I guess we'll choose that one. Let's just go on up, and let's see. It's it's going to be more of the same, but they will start to add more enemies, and sometimes it might get faster. There's a, a few things that they'll do to make it a bit more challenging as we go. And I believe that the uh, Game & Watch gallery version... Oh, I walked right into that crud. Well, here's what happens if you die, I guess. We're gonna fall to our doom or some crud. Uh, eventually, we would get an item that you can kind of see up here called the Water of Life. And if you get that, it's kind of like a fairy from future Zelda games. If you die, it'll bring you right back. You can also see we have the Triforce. We need to collect eight, uh, eight Triforce pieces to beat the game. And there's the map, so we can kind of see where the dragon is. He's at the top left right there. So what you're trying to do is climb this tower and get to the dragon and defeat the dragon. So let's go ahead and hit the game button. I guess we're going to have to try again here. Okay, so we're going back to level 3 this time. Let's see if I can actually do this crud. Come on, Link. We can do this. We just got to dodge some skeletons, man. Is it that hard? We can do this. See, watch. Look, I just dodged him. It's so easy. So we got the two guys we had to deal with. I don't think we got the ghost from the back this time, actually. So I could probably take advantage of that crud. Oh, gosh. They're just, like, so hard to dodge. You got to be so precise to sneak between, between them because they're both trying to get you at the same time. So I'm down to one heart again. Please, dude. I want to at least show you guys the dragon. Okay, there we go. Let's just uh, try again here. I believe if we beat this stage, we'll go on to the dragon next. Okay, move along, dude. Come on. Yes. Okay, sneak out of the way. There we are. Let's go back. And of course, I am down to one heart right now, which is not good. Uh, okay, let's wait for that guy to move. Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, yeah. Go back in. Yes, we just got three more swings and we got this crud. Come on, get closer. Let me... Ah, uh, they're just... They're, they're lined up so poorly, so I gotta not be able to hit them so well. Come on. Oh, one more. One more. Oh, we got him. Sick. All right. Aha. At the top, we've got the water of life. Is that going to take us to the dragon? Yes. Yes, we're going up to the dragon right now, guys. Let's go see if we can actually beat that crud. Come on, dude. Bring it on. Where are you, Mr. Dragon? What the? What the? Oh, you fight the dragon on the top. I forgot about that. Oh, crud. Okay, so we got to dodge the fireballs up here. There we go. Oh. Get out of the way. Okay, so we got just two lanes right here, and we have to dodge the fireballs. We're not going to be able to see the enemy's health very well from this uh, shot right here. And it's going to be very wobbly, but that's okay. Here we go. Now, you might get lucky, and you might get the tomahawk weapon. If you get that, you can only use it on the dragon, but the tomahawk actually does, like, a buttload of damage. It does, like, nine damage instead of three. So it helps a lot with the dragons. Unfortunately, I do not have it. Now, with this guy, you, you do have to watch out for the fireballs, but you also have to watch out for the tail. So I'm kind of trying to watch out for both things right now, because he can hit you both ways. Oh, boy. Oh, did I get him? No, I did not. Oh, watch out for tail. Watch out for that tail. Okay. Watch out for the fireballs. Oh, my gosh. There's so much crud. You can only hit him when you're right next to him. If you're on the left side, not going to work. I dropped right into the fire. That is bad. Here comes the tail. Watch out for that crud. There you go, buddy. Okay, watch out for fire. Oh, okay. Come on. We're going to get this guy. Die, you crud. I don't know how much life he has. Oh, no. I went right into the tail. We're, we're fine. I think I got out of the way. His head, it's vanishing. It's weird. He's wearing some vanishing cream. I don't know how this is working. Okay. Oh, go, go, go. Yes. Okay, the tail's coming in, so I'm not going back in quite yet. And I think we're safe. Good. I mean, we're never truly safe fighting the dragon. But, I mean, as safe as we can be while fighting this mythical creature. Oh, no. The tail. Watch out for the tail, Link. And, uh, in we go. All right. Like I said, I don't, I don't know how much health I have right now. I gotta hope that, <laughs> I gotta hope I can make it through this. Nope, tail, tail. 
Please. Oh! Okay. Man, I wish I had that tomahawk right now. We do have the water of life, I think. No, it's gone! I think I already used it. I probably goofed so bad I already used my water of life. That is not good. So I probably have like one swing left in me. If I get hit, I'm probably probably going to die. But I'm doing pretty good at dodging crud so far. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna be patient here. Sometimes No! Patience is good. Oh, almost well, I think I might have walked back into the tail. I don't know, man. Wait, did I get him? I think I won! Yeah, look at that crud. And you can see Link all kinds of excited up there. He's got that Triforce piece. Yes, dude. Yes. And that is a lot of points. We're up to 220 points. That's the evil dragon we killed. We got that crud. And let's see. What does that do? Well, it puts us back at the bottom and we're going to be back in one of these stages. So let me tell you guys how this works. I'm not going to go through it all because it's very repetitive. But basically, you see, now we've got one Triforce piece there. What you have to do is go through that entire thing eight times, and then you'll get all eight Triforce pieces. Once that happens, this little graphic, that little graphic right up there, that will lift up. Princess Peach, not Princess Peach, this is, this is not Mario. Uh, Princess Zelda will appear right there, she'll walk out, and you win. That's all there is to it, so... Yeah, it just kind of escalates in difficulty, and it just goes through the same cycle eight times, and then the game is over. So that is the Zelda game and watch. Let me go turn the exposure back down on my camera a little bit here, and then let's take a closer look at the Zelda Game Watch, not this guy. By the way, I paid like $80 for this crud. Um, I did not get the box for this one because the box is like hundreds of dollars, so I skipped on that, but... There you go, Zelda Game & Watch. Alright, but here is the Zelda Game Watch. So this one we've already kind of taken a peek at. Now the way that this game would have worked is it basically, you spawn in and you have a top-down view, kind of like you would expect from older Zelda games, and you use these buttons to really move around. And basically you would have four different rooms, and you'd have to go through the rooms, find the right items to defeat different enemies. There would be some iron balls, basically. So you have to find the weapon to defeat the iron balls, and then you have to like find a certain weapon to defeat Keys, and a certain weapon to defeat the dragons. And you kind of just go through that, and then you get the, tri the Triforce and you win. So, again, a very simplistic game. I wish I could show you guys, but, again, this was like 50 bucks, and I don't feel like buying another one just to show just to show that little bit of gameplay. But, there you go. I do have some more stuff to show, though, because I did buy this one with the box. So, let's zoom back out here, and you can see we do have the Legend of Zelda Game Watch box, which has some art, I believe, from... Probably from the Adventure of Link era. It says right here, designed after the home video game, keeps score, records higher score, and the Legend of Zelda characters, quartz accuracy, sports case, or sporty case and band, battery included, daily alarm. And official Nintendo licensed product, there you go. Some more art right there, and kind of got the cool logo right there, the Game Watch. And on the back, we got lots more art. And there was also a Super Mario Bros. one. I believe, I believe I've played the Mario Bros. one in person as a kid, but I can't remember. But right up here, we do have a bunch of art. Again, it looks like it's from Adventure of Link, probably from the instruction manual on that. Now, the watch itself would be inside this little section if it were uh, still boxed. I brought it out of the box just because it sits inside this like little cardboard sleeve. And, well, I got the instruction manual as well. Well, first off, I have this. It's uh, a Nelsonic. Nelsonic is the company. And it is a limited warranty. I don't think this was still good. This thing's from like... 1989 so this might be like 27 years expired but you know what dude we've got a limited warranty right here maybe i can get them to replace the battery probably not now here i also have the game instruction manual so let's go actually it has instructions on setting up the the uh, actual watch as well but here's probably the stuff that's most interesting so right here gosh it's kind of hard to see there you go right here we have the cast of characters so there's link there's the dragon the iron ball the bat and the keys, 20 if picked up within 4 seconds. I guess that's just how many points it's worth. Uh, we've got the triangle, the last triangle of the Triforce, the boomerang, the sword, the bomb, and a door. And over on this side, we can just see like the controls and all that. But here's the object of the game. And uh, typos are a thing. Link enters a cave. His is defenseless. Without any weapons, Link is attached by crushing iron balls. Ferocious bats and a fire-breathing dragon. In order to defeat these enemies, he must pick up the appropriate weapon designed to destroy a specific enemy. When entering the first cave, two iron balls chase Link. He must avoid them by pressing the K directional buttons. If weaponless Link does not avoid the attacking iron balls and they catch him, 
A musical effect will be heard and Link will flash, signifying that he lost one life. In the upper left corner, a boomerang will appear. When he reaches the this needed weapon, press S1 to pick up the boomerang. When a weapon is picked up, it will be seen in the top left square, letting you know that Link has acquired the weapon and can now defend himself. Link now chases the iron balls, and when... Oh gosh, just so much text. He catches one, press S2, and it will be destroyed. After all enemies are destroyed, a key will appear in the top left corner. If you can pick up the key, S1, within 4 seconds, 20 bonus points will be awarded to you. Once Link is the key to... Uh, or once Link has the key, a door will appear telling Link which way to go to the next cave. You have 10 seconds to get Link through the door. For every second after that, 10 points will be deducted from your score until all points are lost and game is over. At the top left, there is a flashing map telling you in which cave Link is located. There are four caves in uh, four caves in each level and four levels for a total of 16 caves. At the end of each level, the fire-breathing dragon will appear. If Link is hit by the fire, no weapon will protect him and he will lose all his lives. Link must destroy the dragon by picking up a bomb, S1, at the top left corner and dropping the bomb, S1, near the dragon. Link must get away before the bomb explodes is explodes it. Explodes sore, else Link loses all his lives. When the dragon is destroyed, a triangle will be seen in bottom right corner. Pick it up, S1, and it will be added to the Triforce Triangle at the top right. A key will then appear to enter the next level and cave. The running score is displayed at the top. After Link has lost all the lives, the game is over. Two, oh gosh, resume play, press S2, score is cleared, and a new game will begin. So there you go, that basically gives you the entire walkthrough of the entire game. That's all there really is to it. I spent, gosh dang, $50 on this crud. A cool collector's item. The game itself, not that great, but I guess that's gonna be it, guys. Well, I know this wasn't the most exciting thing, but I think it's a neat little piece of gaming history. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up there for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, the Nintendo Switch will get here. I can unbox that crud, and I'll tell you guys a lot about my plans for that. Because I got quite a few plans. I mean, I might be challenging myself to play every single Nintendo Switch game that's released this year, but we'll talk more about that tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Take care!